Hi, I'm Father Joe. I'm here at Holy Trinity Church of Archangel Gabriel Parish. And I have the privilege of standing next to our Mother of Sorrows. This is the newest addition to our parish family. We brought our Lady Mother of Sorrows here from Mother of Sorrows Parish, which was just closed in Norwood. And we had the privilege of locating her right here in this little grotto area, which is a wonderful place to pray to Our Lady. As we reflect upon the Mother of Sorrows, who will be celebrated her feast on September 15th, today we focus on those sorrows, and I would propose adding another one to it. Our Lady's sorrows are traditionally the prophecy of Simeon, the flight into Egypt, the loss of Jesus for three days in the temple, the carrying of the cross, the crucifixion of our Lord, Jesus taken down from the cross, and Jesus laid in the tomb. But we could focus on an eighth sorrow of this past Sunday's readings, and that would be the sorrow that Our Lady experiences over so many who refuse the invitation of the King. If we just reflect upon this past Sunday, a gospel which is indeed very sorrowful, which I'm sure would bring tears to Our Lady's eyes and a furrow to her brow, because so many of her children, so many of us, are refusing the invitation of her son. Our readings talk about our Lord comparing heaven to a great banquet feast. And in that parable, our Lord speaks about how so many refuse the king's invitation, how so many find something else to preoccupy their time rather than coming to the king's feast. We hear in the gospel, some ignored the invitation and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. Today, so many people continue to walk away from our Lord's invitation. For our Lord is inviting us in so many ways to follow him, to come to him, to adore him, to praise him. Certainly every Sunday, in fact, every day we're invited to the Lord's feast that we celebrate in all of our churches. We're invited to come to that great banquet feast that we call the Holy Eucharist, in which our Lord feeds us not with bread and wine, but feeds us with the body and blood of his Son. But unfortunately, so many choose to ignore that invitation. So many choose to walk away drawn by some other false god rather than worshiping the one true God. Today, our call is to go forth and extend the Lord's invitation to others, to go forth and extend that blessed feast so that others may hear and respond to that call, so that others may come to the feast in our three churches. Come worship the Lord, especially on Sundays and Holy Days, but each and every day of the week in our daily Masses. To come to the Lord in the Eucharistic Adoration Chapel at St. Malachi's. To come to worship and adore Him, for He continues to extend the invitation. For one day, our Lord promises the great invitation is ultimately the one to the banquet feast of heaven. If we begin now, in this life, to respond to that banquet feast, one day, at the end of our lives, the Lord promises to welcome us to the great banquet feast in his kingdom of heaven.